So now it's time to receive the text from the front end in the back end. So here, here I, uh, as you can see here, I passed the the user text in a key called user message to this URL. And this function, this function is gonna take that data. It's gonna take the text. But the question now is where is this text and how can we access this text? To access this text, the, first of all, you need to know where the text is. The text would be stored in the request. So in the request here, if you say request, if you say request, here if you say uh, request.get, let me show you that, request.get, request .get, get all capital, get, and then dot get small function, and then the name of the the name of the key. So the key, the key is user message. You need to pay attention to this because many developers uh, make mistakes here. So the key is user message. So we need to access this key here in Python by using that key, which is user message. And then I'm going to store it in a variable called user message user message is equal to user message. So what, what the user is going to send from the front end will be uh, received here in Python and we can use it here in Django. And then we can, for now, I'm going to say return. And then for now, I'm going to return HTTP. I'm going to say HTTP response. And I'm going to just return the same exact text. So the text that has been received will be sent back to the user just for the sake of testing. And to send to send that text to the user, we can send it to the to the done function. Remember, this done function data is going to receive whatever you send from here. So here, the, this HTTP response is going to send the message back to the user, and this done is going to receive the data, receive the text one more time. And this is just for the sake of testing. Let's receive it. So to receive it, I'm going to say here. I'm going to say here in this function. Uh, I'm going to say uh, var, I'm going to create a var variable, var user, um, let's say a variable called returned message, message. So the returned message is going to be equal to, to the, to the data, to the data, because because this data now represents represents the the user message that I received, but I sent back. So it's going to be sent back here to this to this uh, URL again. So here, instead of saying data, just data like this, let's let's uh, add it in inside HTML. So I'm going to say here, I'm going to say p, and then I'm going to say inside that paragraph, I'm going to say class, and the class is going to be bot text because this should represent the text that that the the bot is going to re, uh, respond to us with and i'm going to also use a span i'm going to say chat bot and then i'm going to say span and then within that span I'm going to display the data. I'm going to say here plus, first double quotes, and then plus plus, and then data, data. And then finally, I need to append this message to the to the text, to the chat box. So I'm going to say dollar sign, and then chat first here, hashtag, and then chat box. And then dot append, and then append, and then I'm gonna append the message. I'm gonna append the returned message. Let's now save and test. So before I test, let me explain this one more time. So here, this function, this get is gonna send the message to the Django, and Django is gonna receive the message here, and it's gonna access the message and it's going to store it in a variable called user message and it's just it's just going to send that message back to the caller which is this which is the which is this which is going to here 
received again and then it's going to be added to HTML code and then it's going to be appended to the chat bot box. Let me now save and let's test this. So let me here refresh and let's test. If I say hi and if I send, as you can see, what's going to happen is that is that the chatbot is going to respond with the same exact message because what, what I did is that I because what I did is that the message that I sent, I returned back to to us. I returned back to the to the uh, front end. So whatever you type here and send, whatever you type and send, it's going to be returned to you and it's going to be returned. It's going to be displayed here. And this is a very important concept of how you can send something to the back end and receive something back fr from the from the from the back end uh, uh, and displayed in the front end. This concept is very important and understanding this concept will make th things very easy for you later.